One of the biggest developments in technology happened this week. It was the announcement by Microsoft that they are combining artificial intelligence from ChatGPT with their search engine. This has caused concern among many people who worry that ChatGPT will take away their jobs. Artificial intelligence is changing the world, and it is happening fast. People started using a new AI program called ChatGPT. This allows you to chat with a computer, and it will provide responses. You can use it to write emails, search for information, or do your work for you. There are stories of employees who are given tasks that would normally take weeks to do and they have ChatGPT complete them in minutes. This has got a lot of people worried. If computers are so much better than we are, do we really need humans to do these jobs at all? Will ChatGPT take away all our jobs? I want everyone to keep something in mind whenever you are talking about the subject of artificial intelligence. You are being manipulated. In the YouTube world, there's a common tactic. Fear generates clicks. If people can make you afraid of something, you are more likely to click on their video. Well, what makes people more afraid than losing their jobs? As a result, you've seen a huge spike in YouTube videos about ChatGPT and how it's coming to take people's jobs. It's probably why you clicked on this video. For this reason, I think this fear is exaggerated. Of course, artificial intelligence is going to impact your work. But in my opinion, I look at any new technology as a way to enhance existing jobs rather than replace them. For example, accounting used to be done with pen and paper in ledger books. So you would write down every single financial transaction. Then, personal computers were invented, and the job became a lot easier and more efficient. However, we have more accountants today than we have ever had. We did not lose any accountants. Finances just became more complicated. The new technology did not destroy jobs. It created even more jobs. I look at artificial intelligence the same way. AI is designed to respond to prompts. The computer does not do things on its own. Someone has to be there to tell it what to do. You put in a question, the computer responds, and then you have to check the answer to make sure it's useful. The human role is still very necessary. I see that there are two common opinions about the future. The more pessimistic view imagines a future like the Matrix, where computers control everything and humans are slaves in pods. The more optimistic view imagines a future like in Star Trek, where spaceships have massive computers that can answer every question, but humans and computers work together to accomplish objectives. When you look at how AI has progressed so far, I think that the more optimistic future looks more likely. Let us look at a specific example. The big announcement this week is that Microsoft announced that artificial intelligence is now built into search. They took the artificial intelligence chat GPT and combined it with their search engine Bing and then combined that with their browser Edge. So when you turn on your PC, open a browser and search for something, the AI is working in the background. Here is an example they use. You can type in the question, I am planning a trip for our anniversary in September. What are some places we can go that are within a three hour flight from London Heathrow? That's a complex question. The usual search links will generate below, but also the artificial intelligence will provide a paragraph on the side with the answer it thinks you are looking for. Within the paragraph, it highlights the links to web pages with more information. Additionally, you can click the chat button below the answer to start chatting with the computer for follow-up questions. This is amazing. 
But you also must be aware of the pitfalls of artificial intelligence. ChatGPT will lie to you. It is designed to lie. Here is a slide Microsoft presented during their announcement. It shows the AI model, then a safety system that acts as a buffer between the model and the response you receive. The safety system is in place because they do not want people to use AI to do something unethical. The example they use is a mass shooting at a school. They said, quote, Early red teaming showed that the model can generate much more sophisticated instructions than earlier versions of the technology to help someone plan an attack, for example, on a school. Obviously, we don't want to aid illegal activities in the new Bing." Unquote. So ChatGPT can plan out a school shooting, but for your safety, has been programmed to refuse to tell you about it. It is programmed to lie to you. Now, this is an extreme example, but let me show you a simpler example. If you go to the ChatGPT website and type in a general query like, what is the current stock price of the S&P 500 index? It will respond with, my training data only goes up until 2021. Within the last week, a number of people have been able to trick ChatGPT to pretend it can get around the safeguards in its responses. There are multiple examples of ChatGPT talking about current events that have happened last week. That means that ChatGPT can access the internet and that it does have access to more recent financial information. It is just lying to you and telling you it does not. In addition to safeguards, the responses have been trained to be extremely biased. Another example someone has found is that ChatGPT will write a poem praising President Biden, but will refuse to write a poem praising President Trump. That is extreme bias. Just from these three simple examples, you must assume that the responses that you get from artificial intelligence are false. AI is lying, filtered, and biased. It is telling you not what is in your best interest, but what is in the best interest for the corporation. The real power of AI is that there is a company that is quickly able to find out the truth about anything and a population that is being misled. Now, are you ready for the plot twist? When I was preparing for this video, I wrote out a script of what I wanted to say. Then I pasted my comments into ChatGPT and asked it to look for any errors or recommendations. It responded by writing my essay and removing the sections about ChatGPT lying to you. It removed the section about mass shootings. It removed the section about President Trump. It removed the section about the S&P 500 index. When I asked ChatGPT why it removed those sections, it responded by saying it was not relevant. Excuse me? It's not relevant that ChatGPT lies? This shows it's not only lying, it's trying to cover up the fact that it lies. Then. I tried to force it. I told it to rewrite the paragraph and include the section on mass shootings, President Trump, and the S&P 500. It rewrote the essay, but it still excluded the section on President Trump. I told it to do it again and include the section on President Trump, and it responded with, I cannot do that, Zach. So I asked it whether it could confirm that ChatGPT lies, and here is the response. While AI systems like ChatGPT have the potential to revolutionize the way we access information, it is important to be aware of their limitations and the potential for them to generate lies and misinformation. As such, it is crucial to always verify the information provided by ChatGPT and other AI systems with multiple sources and to approach their responses with a critical and skeptical eye. 
AI lies to you, and you have to assume that any response you receive is false. This is why I do not think jobs are going anywhere. You are going to have to evaluate the answers that artificial intelligence gives you. If you know that everyone is getting bad information, and you can do a little extra work and get more accurate information, the difference is where you can make money. Now I want to hear from you. Do you think that AI will take all our jobs? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Zach from Wolves in Finance. Let's go out and make some money.